Hi there! Okay, back with part two. Now, this is for the ladies. Okay, how to meet a decent guy. First off, we'll start with where to meet a decent guy. Okay, well, just like I mentioned in my last video for the men, there's no real rule that says where the best spots are to meet a guy because it just happens usually when you least expect it in a place where you might not have expected it to happen. Okay, so you can refer to my last video for some more information on that part. Okay, what does a decent guy appear like? Okay, once again, there's no absolute rule as to what a decent guy should look like or be dressed like, but they do give you some clues about their character at first glance. A decent guy, I feel, will take pride in his appearance. For example, he'll be cleanly, cleanly or neatly shaven. He would wear neat clothes that hopefully match and he would walk with confidence. Please don't get confidence confused with the hero walk. Um, I don't know how to explain the hero walk but it's sort of like they have a carrot jammed up there behind um, which causes them to walk stiffly with their chest powdered out. That sort of walk. Okay, not all decent guys um, would obviously walk with confidence. This just means they need some confidence boosters in their life. Okay, next, of course, as I said in the last video to the men, make sure the man you're after is single. Number one rule is to make sure that the guy you're interested in is single. You do not want to be going for a guy who is attached to someone else. Otherwise, you're heading for trouble. Have respect for their relationship and yourself. Next important rule for the females out there. Don't chase. It's a put off. Please do not chase the men. It is only natural that the men go out hunting. They have a natural instinct for seeking the woman they desire. We can instigate it a little bit, flirt, etc. But ultimately, it needs to come from them. And then we can make the choice of whether or not we want to pursue. Okay, here are some do's and don'ts for you women out there. Don't be the first to call. If he's interested, he'll call. Don't be the first to SMS. If he's interested, he'll SMS. Don't chase him when, it was sh when he's showing you he's not interested in a relationship. For example, SMSing all the time and ringing all the time, even though it has gotten you nowhere. Please, don't embarrass yourself. Just stop. Um, because you just make it worse and you'll head for heart heartache. Don't act desperate to have someone. Okay, do. These are the do's now. Do be patient for his call. Even though it's hard. I know it can be hard sometimes. And have the mindset of it would be nice if he calls. But if he doesn't, it's not meant to be. And there's someone better out there for me. Trust me, there is. If he doesn't call, he's not worth it. Do still make yourself available if he doesn't call. There could be another opportunity around the corner and you would hate yourself if you miss it. So don't put him on a pedestal, girls. Be patient. Okay, next rule for you women out there. Show interest. Once you've introduced each other and you're having the first conversation, show interest in what he has to say. Believe it or not, men really do appreciate when women listen. 
ask questions and relate to what they're talking about. Even though you might not have any idea, ask him what it's about. Talk to him like he's one of your friends. Act confident when you talk to him, like you want to be friends. Even though deep down, you want to be more. Be happy when you're talking to him. Smiling is contagious and an attractive feature. Everybody feels good being around happy people. All of these features will make him feel comfortable by the end of the conversation to ask for your number. Next rule, be yourself. Be comfortable with who you are because if you're looking for a relationship, it's best to be yourself from day one. Next rule, asking for the number. Big no-no. Do not ask the guy for the number. Even if the conversation went really well, it stops the guy from chasing because you've made it so easy. You also come across as desperate. If he didn't ask for your number by the end of the conversation, then he just wasn't interested. He was too shy. He already had a girlfriend and enjoyed the conversation, flirt, or he was gay. Either way, it just wasn't meant to be. So you get to look forward to the next person who will come your way. If it was meant to be, then you'll see him again. Trust me. I have known guys to go back to the same place that a girl would regularly go just so they can ask for their number because they missed out on the opportunity. Men love to chase. Okay, that's the end of my section for the women. Please take it all in. You can criticize, but I think everything um, that I've said it does come from experience and it does come from other people's experiences so I'm sure you can relate to it. Thanks.